Hey guys, this is Demario Bowden with ConquerTheComputer.blogspot.com. We're gonna show you something real quick and easy here. Uh, I wanted to do this video over again because the last time I did it, it was kind of with my bad camera and it wasn't recording right. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna show you how to install the memory inside of a notebook laptop. So anyway, you need like a basic tool kit, something like this. Anything that's basically um, got small tools in it. Or you can really just use a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver to get inside this computer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and just pick me a Phillips. This bad boy right here should be good. And get to it. Okay, first you want to start off usually in the back of your computer. Let's go to the back of this computer right here. Put it down so you guys can see. Okay, so the back of your computer, um, there's usually, let's see, okay, this part that says, okay, let's make sure, yeah, this part that says M right here, if you guys see that, that M right there, that would stand for memory. So we're going to go in and take these three screws off that's right here. So let's see, you see, there's three screws right here. Start right here. Take that off. Just drop my tool set there. Oh well, I'll pick them up after we get finished with the video. I'll keep it going for you guys because I know you guys want to learn how to do this. Okay. Let's go with this one right here. Okay, after you get those three screws, and by the way, this is a uh, Dell Inspiron 1318, a little small laptop. And there's three screws right here that's holding this memory lap on. You just pop it up. A uh, one is still tight. Let's see which one it is. Probably this one right here. And this one right here. Okay, what you'll do is pop it up. Okay. Pop it all the way up. Oh, we have to remove this tab too. The memory tab right here. The memory screw. It's a memory. It's a it's a screw inside this part. So, take that out. Okay, we have that screw right there. We'll lay it right here for now, and we'll just pull the whole thing up. Okay, here's our memory right here. Now, this chip right here. This is a two gig. This this computer can only hold four gigs of memory. You can find that out by going to Best Buy. Uh, well, well, going through me, going through my Amway Global site, and going through Best Buy. But you have to have a username and everything. So contact me for the discount to Best Buy. You can go to Best Buy online and look at how much memory can go in your computer and the right updates. So we can leave this one in because this is two gigs of memory. On the other hand, this one is three gigs. I mean, one gig. So we're going to take this one out. And you can keep this bad boy for good luck. So we just toss that over here. Now let's get the the package here with the Best Buy memory inside. Here it is. Okay. All right. So what you want to do now? Pick my tools up. Don't want to lose none of these tools. They're very important. What you want to do now is just start to open your bag up from Best Buy that they're going to see in. Just tear through it right there. Okay. Tear through that. Okay. Here's the memory. There's the chip we're looking for. Okay. You want to open your memory up. It's Kingston memory. They got a, they give a lifetime of memory on it, so you're in good hands. Tear that off. Let's get this up of here. Okay, there's our memory. So let's take it out of the casing. Okay. Let's see if we can get it out. There we go. Get it out of the casing. So what you do is you line up the uh, the this pin, this this hole in the pin, this slide needs to line up 
with the slots on your on your motherboard. So this one will go like this because it lines up with that slot. So I line it up with that slot. Put it in. And it pushes down and snaps back in. Now, let's get our other piece of memory. <clears throat> the other two gigs. Okay. And now we will slide this one in with the slot. Make sure the slot goes in the slot on the motherboard. So, this, this part is very important right there. This part is very important. So, we do it like this. Slide it in. Snaps in. Okay. So, now we'll put this back on the casing. You just start off with lining it back up just as easy as it can be. Line it back up. Okay. Put your screws back down. There. Okay, it's through there. Okay, we'll put our memory screw back in here. Put that back in. And guess what? You will not believe it, but you have just updated the memory on your computer by yourself using, you didn't pay a dime, you didn't pay anything, all you did is look on the blog at conquerorthecomputer.blogspot.com. Thank you guys.